Foxes in the Snow. In the middle of a forest, beneath the roots of an old oak tree, lived a family of foxes. It was a cold winter's day, but Mother Fox was going out to look for food. Now stay here in the den where it's nice and snug, she told her two cubs, and with a flick of her tail, she was off into the forest. Alfie and Bonnie snuggled down at the back of the den, but Bonnie soon got bored. Oh, I'm going to go and look outside. Remember what Mother told us, you mustn't leave the den. I'm just looking. Bonnie poked her nose outside and gasped as something white and fluffy landed on it. She tried to pick up the fluffy thing, but it disappeared as soon as she touched it. Alfie, Alfie, come and look. The forest was filled with strange fluffy things. They were falling through the air all around them. What are they? Whatever they are, I want one. And they scrambled up out of the den. They forgot about staying safe and snug. They forgot about what Mother Fox had told them. The two cubs jumped into the air, <laughs> trying to snap up the falling snowflakes. <laughs> They're melting your mouth. <laughs> they tickle your tongue. Through the trees they ran, laughing and leaping through the whirling whiteness. The snow was falling thick and fast, smothering the ground and covering the branches, until the whole forest lay hidden beneath a thick white blanket. Suddenly Alfie stopped and looked around him. Where are we? He said. They'd been having so much fun that they hadn't noticed where they were going. Now everywhere looked strange and unfamiliar. Oh, I think we're lost. Then Alfie had a brilliant idea. Look at our paw prints. We can follow them all the way home. So back they went, noses to the ground, tracing their tracks through the snow. But it was getting late and the forest was getting darker and the paw prints grew fainter and fainter until they disappeared completely. Oh, the snow must have filled them in. <laughs> Alfie and Bonnie huddled together. The forest, which had felt so friendly, now felt cold and dangerous, and the two cubs wished they had stayed safe and snug in their den, as Mother Fox had told them. Suddenly a twig snapped and the cubs caught a glimpse of something large running towards them. It's a monster! Quick, hide! Bonnie pulled Alfie behind a tree, but whatever it was, it was heading straight towards them. The two frightened cubs backed around the tree until the snow gave way beneath them and they tumbled down into a hole. Help! What are we going to do? I don't know. Just then, a large shape appeared above them. It was Mother Fox. Why do you look so scared? Oh, we didn't know it was you. How did you find us? Find you? But where else would you be? Now everyone was puzzled until Alfie realised where they were. We're in the den! Of course, just where I left you. It was a cold winter's evening and Alfie and Bonnie were back in their den beneath the roots of the old oak tree. As the cubs finished their supper, Mother Fox told them that they would have a big surprise in the morning. What sort of surprise? Now if I told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise. Alfie and Bonnie curled up sleepily together, safe and snug, in the corner of the den. I think I know what sort of surprise it is. It's the sort that melts in your mouth. And tickles your tongue. <laughs> but I am glad that Mother Fox is coming too.